Several homes in Norton Shores will soon be connected to city water mains to avoid PFAS tainted groundwater. A firefighting foam used in training at the Muskegon County Airport contaminated groundwater in parts of that area. Now a $5 million grant from the State Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy will help pay to connect residents in that area to the Muskegon city water system. News 8's Amanda Porta has the story. The $5 million grant comes from Eagle's ongoing investigation at the Muskegon County Airport. Federal aviation guidelines required regular firefighter training using a foam that contained PFAS. That prompted testing of the residential drinking water wells in the neighborhoods around the airport starting in 2018. The PFAS levels detected in some homes exceeded the lifetime health advisory. We're working with the state, we'd like to provide safe water to those homes that are currently on well water that are affected by, or may be affected by the plume that's coming from the airport area. Homes as far as six miles from the airport may have PFAS contaminated water. We're looking at constructing new water mains at Inglewood, Vic, uh, Bellway, and Martin. The uh, process right now is we need to seek council approval to go for engineering services. Once we have engineering services on hand with a have an introduced design and work on getting our permits. We should be able to submit the permits to the state. Once we get approval on that, we will go out for bids and look at hiring a contractor to start the work. According to Eagle, the grant will allow water service connections to a total of approximately 157 homes. Once the homes in the affected areas are connected to the city's water main supplies, the existing residential wells will be closed. We've already reached out with an informal survey to a couple of the roadways to let them know. Um, also received phone calls. We'll be in communication with them. One key part of the grant is that if you do hook up to the water main or the water as part of the, uh, the grant, you do need to abandon your residential and irrigation wells. Cost though of the abandonment of the wells and the water services to the homes will be covered under the grant. Some people will be connected to upgraded water mains while a new water main system will be installed east of the airport. The goal is to have all the work completed before 2026. Amanda Porter, News 8.